Lucas, you're off base. You're way off base. Mitch, when I got to Rachel, she'd already discovered the secret compartment. The one I saw in the dock and you saw in the dock. I don't know what you're talking about. But funny thing, when she looked in the compartment, it was empty. Uh, what's the point of all this? The letter. I read it. Good for you, Lucas. Yeah. It was a letter from Mac telling Rachel she should get in touch with a Ken Jordan. Never heard of the guy. Maybe I should just tell Rachel what I saw and let her get in touch with Jordan herself. Don't you think I should do that? But then I think she might be a little upset that you kept the letter. I want to make sure Rachel is in no danger. I want to check out the guy first. That's very noble. But do you think she'd want you to disregard her husband's final wishes? I know that he wouldn't want anything to happen to her that might hurt her. Well, don't you think that's her choice? But then again, we both know that there's more to this than... Uh, the eye. What are you talking about? She's the mother of my son. Yeah, well, nobody knows better than I do how important that tie is. That's why I'm willing to let this matter drop if you are. So what are you proposing? I'll keep quiet about the letter, and you stop any investigations on the Red Swan. A deal? Allow me. What are you doing here? I think I'll let Mitch explain that. What was he doing here? This is crazy. I know I put my makeup case right here. Oh, then it'll turn up. Sure, just keep looking. Where'd you put it? I put it right here with all my stuff. Then I started taking my stuff out, and then, and then Mrs. Wheeler came over and got us. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Well, I'm all set. I'll let you use my makeup, but the colors are all wrong for you. Hey, don't let it throw you, okay? Right. Josie, you can share mine. Oh, you don't have to. No, take it. Really, the colors are perfect for you. <laughs> you mean it? Yes, I hate stuff like that. What? what, what? Those girls, they hit your makeup. What? They, come on, they wouldn't do something like that. Oh, Josie, please, open your eyes. They already did. Don't you get it? They want to win and they don't care how. Use that. Well, why are you coming to my rescue? I mean, don't you want to win too? Sure I do, but not that way. I want to beat you at your best. Well, at least you're honest. It's not my style to take advantage of people. Even you. Okay, you ready, Gretchen? Yes, thank you. All right, let's rock and roll. All right. We're rolling. <laughs> okay, what does sophistication mean to you? Feeling at ease, no matter where you are or who you're with. It's knowing how to handle yourself, wherever you are. And I'd better live like that. Walking like a man, feeling like a hammer. She's a juvenile scam. Never was a critter. Tasted like a raindrop. She's got the look. I haven't laid a bomb. Cause heaven's got a number when she's spinning me around. Kissing is a color. A loving is a wild dog. She's got the look. She's got the look. is, um, I think it's a great concept. And I, I think the, the, the um, the, the idea for the magazine's a really great idea. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I never miss an issue. Uh, darling, this is the first issue. Got enough anyway. We've got. Okay, everybody, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Kill the lights. 
Thank you very much. Was this great? Thank you. Did you. a good job. Same good job. Good job. Well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, you look like you really got into it. Well, you made it easy. <laughs> I think you pulled your practical joke on the wrong girl. No kidding. The competition isn't Josie, it's her sister. She didn't make a false move. Well, I better get changed. Okay. I'll see you before I leave. All right. Donna. What now? What? That's the wrap, kid. You're all done. Am I dreaming? <laughs> I want you to know you did a really good job today. Thank you. I think I'll go before you change your mind. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Frankie. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm looking for Lucas. He said he'd be here. Uh, well, obviously he's not. But, uh, he is expected, though, right? That's right. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, Mrs. Wheeler, uh, I don't mean to bother you, but yes. I did want to tell you that I, I really do think you did the right thing. About what? Uh, getting rid of Cecile. What? Well, kicking you out of your house. I mean, I, I just Frankie, met Frankie, I don't know where you get your information, but my dear friend Cecile left of her own accord. She did? Uh-huh. Not that it's any of your business, but Cass invited her to stay. Apparently, he was very insistent. Is that right? Oh, that is fascinating. Yes. And from what I heard, he wouldn't take no for an answer. So... Marriage to His Majesty was no day at the beach. You know, at first I thought, this doesn't have to be so bad. As you know very well, after the king's death, I was forced by Tankirian law to marry the next in line to the throne, that <clears throat> being the king's 13-year-old brother, the little prince. prince. So I thought, what an opportunity. Take the kid under my wing, show him the ways of the world, you know, just sort of teach him a few things, offer my guidance, my wisdom. The little twerp didn't want any of it. Oh, what a brat, and he just got worse as he got older. Puberty is a terrible affliction. I try facing an obnoxious, humorless 15-year-old across a banquet table every night. Oh, Cass, it was the most miserable time of my life. What hell? And there was no one else to talk to. Everyone else in the palace was either his relative or his spy, and he was jealous. Of you? Insanely jealous. And he was obsessed with, with computer games and video games and pinball machines. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, imagine conversations centering around the Super Mario Brothers. So, Tankir was no paradise after all, huh? Oh, no, just the weather. Of course, I did have everything money could buy. Of course. Cass, I don't know how I did it for so long. I really don't. I mean, I need love. I need passion. Well, I'm really confused now, Cecile. Uh, what should I feel? Should I feel sorry for you? Aren't you the woman who kidnapped me? You are, oh, aren't you? Cass, come on! And then on. you tried to force me into siring a, a, a royal offspring for you and the monarch, didn't, didn't you? Yes. Well, that was you. Yeah, well, yeah, that was me, right. So. I was under a lot of pressure. I was desperate, you know that. And what, now you've mellowed? I thought I'd like being queen, you know? I, I gave it a shot. It left me holding the bag in Mallorca while you sailed off into the sunset with his majesty. You used to admire my spirit of adventure. Yeah. Well, I think I'd rather appreciate it from a safe distance now. I've had enough upheaval in my life to last quite a while, thanks. You know, I, um, I was sorry to hear about Kathleen. I really was. I'll never forget her. I thought about you. I really, um, don't know how you did it. I can't imagine going through that. You discover that life goes on, whether you wanted to or not. Hmm. I'm discovering that. You changed, Cass. So can I. Do you really want to? Just give me a chance to prove myself. That's all I'm asking. Can't you do that for me? 